Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's good to meet here so that we can look into the Word. And uh, the Word of God is a lamp to our feet and light to our path to direct us. Uh, today, uh, we're going to look at uh, our response, the scriptural response to the cry, Help, I'm afraid. It is okay to be uh, anxious a little bit or be nervous when we are about to uh, face some big task like maybe a presentation or maybe even um, you know while crossing the road or uh, it helps us to be alert it helps us to be prepared our body is alert and um, and while doing these tasks and it is good but if this fear or we are nervous or, uh, and we are afraid and if it restricts us from doing the normal things then it's not helpful if it for example, if the fear is so irrational that we are unable to walk even, then uh, we need to do something about it. Uh, if it cripples us rather than enable us, uh, rather than enabling us to do the things, then we know that it is, uh, it's not helpful. If, it, if it's creating doubt and anxiety that we cannot, we are unable to pursue what God wants us to do, uh, then again, uh, this kind of fear is, is not healthy and uh, we also see in scripture that fear could also be a demonic uh, source or a demonic spirit trying to intimidate, influence and oppress us and keep us from doing what God wants us to do or keep us from enjoying the life that God wants us, that God has given to us. So, um, so, it, uh, so, so this, this is something that we see. And when we read 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 to, uh, 6 to 6 and 7, this is what we see. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, the question is, if what we are experiencing is not from God, should we receive it? Should we still tolerate it and should we suffer it if it's not from God. Scripture is very clear, it says that God has not given us a spirit of fear. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. For he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So it says here that fear causes torment and it is not from God. So we don't have, we don't need to uh, be tolerant about this kind of fear rising up and causing us to shut down and not do the things that God has called us to do. So it's time for us to reclaim our courage and walk in boldness and courage. God tells Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Nor be, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So when we are assured of the presence of God, then this presence of God casts out fear. The Lord says, be bold, be strong, be courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So His presence casts out fear. Uh, the scripture that we read just now, 1, 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, it says, Perfect love casts out fear. So when we are filled with the love of God, knowledge of the love of God or experience of the love of God and the revelation of the love of God, then this casts out or repels fear. When we know that God loves us, that God cares for us, that when we know that God has our back, then that casts out fear. When we are filled with faith, thirdly, Romans chapter 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So when we are strengthened in faith, when we fill ourselves with the word of God, when we hear the word of God, then uh, God's word, faith in God's word casts out fear. So let's reclaim our courage and let's dispel this fear and walk in confidence in God. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that we have access to your presence. We have access to your word. And Lord, you fill us with your love. And we know that all this casts out 
fear. Lord, even as we experience your love, even as we fill ourselves with your word and fill ourselves with and experience your, the, your presence, God, I pray that we will walk in boldness and courage and not be crippled by fear. We thank you because in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.